the latest version of SimSmith, version 11.5, introduces a new circuit element called the matching element. This device, this element provides an automatic matching circuit between two arbitrary impedances using an L circuit. It's right here. I'm going to use this circuit to explore the operation of a Pi-L network, common in tube amplifiers. Let's start out using two automatic tuners, and we'll use an impedance of 2,000 ohms inside the tube network, which is a common number. Now we need to choose an intermediate impedance. Let's use something like 100 ohms. The first L network moves it from 50 ohms up to 100, the second one from 100 up to 2,000. Part of the operation of the Pi network is to provide both impedance matching and low-pass filtering. In order to explore low-pass filtering, let's take a look at the power being delivered to the load. And we're going to look at it over a wider range, so let's do, say, 5 to 25 megahertz. And as you can see, the Pi network provides some low-pass filtering. Here's our second harmonic, which is down about 20 dB. Let's see what happens to the power delivered as we change to the internal impedance. Let's increase it. You can see that the power being delivered is going down. It's becoming a better low-pass filter. It's getting better up here as well, being flatter in the pass band. And it reaches some maximum attenuation of about 25 dB when the internal impedance is set to be a real 280 ohms or so. So how does the reactance change what's going on. Let's start with a reactance. We can see that the pass band stayed relatively flat, but the stop band got worse. And as we increase that internal reactance of the internal impedance, it gets worse. However, as we decrease it, it seems to be getting better. And if we set it to be zero, it's probably the best. What happens if we set it negative? Actually, we see it getting better. And as we increase the internal reactance, we see that the pass band is getting a little narrower and the stop band is getting better. And as we continue to increase it, we see the pass band starting to be affected and the stop band is gets continuously better. It can be instructive to look at this low pass roll off by looking at the Q on the Smith chart. Let's go over here and look at the Smith chart. Let's set a Q on the Smith chart of something like 10. That's probably too high. We'll lower it to be what we're starting with right here. And watch what happens to the pass band here as I change the internal impedance along this Q line. What you see is that the actual stop frequency, the, pass, the stop band, is not widely affected as long as I maintain the same Q. However, the pass band is substantially affected, what's going on over here, as I change the internal impedance. Notice that if I increase the Q by moving outside the QI, the stop band is getting better, so is the pass band is getting worse. Alternatively, if I move the other way to a lower Q, my stop band is getting worse. 
my pass band is mar marginally affected. So now you can see how the internal impedance of your Pi L network is affected both your pass band and your stopped band. Hope that proves useful. Thanks for watching.